Hey guys, my name is Damien. And I'm going to do some tutorials for you. I specialize in Node and JavaScript. And yeah, I've been wanting to do tutorials for a while, so I'm just going to start here by getting Node installed in your system. This will work on any Mac OS X or Mac OS, any Ubuntu based system, or any Debian based system, really. So, first off, we're going to open our terminal. You can see we've got a nice play terminal here. And we're just going to run. A simple startup script. I'll put this in description so you can like, copy and paste it and no reason to memorize this. So what's happening here is we're going to use curl which is going to grab that URL, that nice long one, and that URL contains an install script. And that install script is going to be run on our bash. And what this is going to do for us is it's going to download MVM and it's going to put some export variables in our bash RC if you're in Ubuntu or if you're running Mac it'll be in your bash profile and we'll go through that after this so you can see that it tried to download something but since I already have it installed it's like I already have this we don't need to do this on your system you'll see a little low bar and all that good stuff so after this there's two things you can do you can just close your terminal and restart it to get the updates we just applied or you can source your bash profile or your bash profile or bash rc if you're in Ubuntu. I'm in Ubuntu, so I'm going to run bash rc. You can do bash underscore profile if you're rocking a Mac. So source bash rc. What that does is it reads our bash rc file and applies it again. So you can see now if we just open vim quick and go into our bash rc, you can also do this bash underscore profile and Mac again. So you can see here, I got a lot of variables here. We got Android, Studio, all that good stuff. But we're going to go here to our NVM directory. Here, I'll just highlight my mouse there. So you can see that we're exporting the variable NVM dir, which is the directory where NVM is located. And then we have this little script here that's going to actually load NVM and get it ready when we boot up our terminal. So when you boot up your terminal, this bash RC or your bash profile gets run every time. All right, so we can quit out of there. So we're just going to do, if you're new to that, just do W or Shift colon and then W or Q. Sorry, we'll quit. And w Q will save any changes that you made. Or we're just going to quit because we didn't make any changes. So I'm going to clear this. Just have a nice, clean working system. All right, so now we just installed NVM. We're going to make sure it's installed. By going nvm dash dash version, we'll get the version number back, which is 0.33.0. So this is all good and well, but where is node coming from? So we're going to use nvm to install node. And to keep this video current, we're just going to open up an internet browser. Awesome. And we're just going to search current uh, stable node. Right, so we can see that version 6 is the most current one, and this most stable one is 5.11. So we're just going to run nvm install, and then the version number. So what we're going to do here is 6.0.0, .0, as we can see right here. So what that's going to do is, I already have it installed, but it will install that version, and mark it as the one you're going to use. So now if we go node-v, we'll see that we have version 6 running. If you have different versions running at the same time, you can use NVM to switch between them, which is very helpful if you're working pro different projects or different groups of people. And all you have to do there is either NVM install that version or NVM use, and then the version number. So let's say I want to use 5, which I'm pretty sure I have installed here. Awesome. So now if I do node-v, we're running 5. So what we're going to do now is nvm use 6. Oh, dot zero, dot zero. So I don't mess myself up later. <laughs> and yeah, so that's the basics of installing nvm and then node. You'll also get npm with that. Node now ships with npm, and that's node package manager. So you can npm install any package you want. We'll definitely get into that in a later video, but in the scope of this video, it's not that important. And uh, we'll just go over the node REPL quick. So when you install node, it's actually 
uh, based on the V8 JavaScript engine that's in Chrome. So it follows the guidelines of that. So we, if you just type in node, we'll get a REPL, which is read, evaluate, print, and loop. So it just lets you essentially write code in here. It's going to read the code you write. It's going to evaluate that expression. And then it's going to print it to the screen. So you can see now const hello equals hello. So now this is going to evaluate to undefined because I didn't return anything. But if I then use that variable, it's going to return the string hello. So you can, that's a very simple example, but you can put programs in here to debug, you can do any of that good stuff. And to get out of here, you just hit control D. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, start from here and step up to do maybe a little express program, use NPM, and just start from the very basics for people trying to learn Node and JavaScript and just get into the scene. So uh, that'll be it for me. If you can subscribe below, that'd be awesome. If you want to see more videos like this, also leave in the comments if you want to see any, if you have anything else you need installed or a node specific video, give her. I'm, I want to do some React stuff too because I really like React. So we'll see where that goes. All right, see you later, guys.